Hello, my name is Marion. In this presentation, this is going to be the head anatomy review. You will see a lot of anatomy on this presentation. For the procedure section, it's going to be about 71 questions, but for this section, we are talking about the head. And um, in this lesson, we're going to talk about the head, the orbit, sinuses. You will see pictures on this type of information. And then this is the outline again, just in case you forgot what will be on the CT registry. Make sure you know that this is an axial image. You can get your sectional anatomy book as well. So just make sure you know everything on this page. And then make sure that you know this is a sagittal image of the head. You have your corona image of your sinuses as well. So just make sure that you know this information. Your arteries, your cow of the head whenever you are doing a CTA. And I also explained this in the brain and the head course as well that I previously did if you want to take a look at that. Know that there are 14 facial bones and then just know where they are and how to identify it on a CT image. And then also make sure that you know your sinuses as well. Then this is more information, a sagittal image. Just make sure you know where all of this can be found on the CT image. And you can pause this as well. You can pause it. You don't have to hurry up and read it. You can just pause it whenever you get to each section. There are four sinuses. Know how to find them, where they are located at. And make sure that you know your membranes of the brain. There are three. Know which layer is the strongest, the inner layer, which one contains the CSF fluid. You have four lobes. Make sure that you know frontal, temporal, parietal, occipital, and know where to find those at if you were looking at a CT head image. And then this is more information just explaining the functions of each lobe. Just make sure that you know this. Then more information on your anatomy. And we're almost done with this presentation. You can just pause it as you go along, but also uh, you can just make sure that you have a sectional anatomy book and then you can correlate this with the CT head image as well. And then this is more information that you need to know. I would know how each um, anatomy functions and each organ functions and how to find it as well. Make sure that you know your CTA, especially your CTA, particular for this section, your circle of will is how to find it. Um, I did a presentation on the head where I talked a lot about CTA, how it is done, how much contrast should be injected. So just make sure that you go back and watch that. Well, thank you all for watching my presentation. Stay tuned for the next lesson. Feel free to comment if you have any questions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.